on my carpet with my shoes. You guys, um, just got back from the store. I have to go drop some stuff up on the stand, Daddy. I'm sad, Daddy. It's about to be gone. <laughs> this is so freaking good. I don't even like chocolate. You guys, I'm about to show you guys these lights. It's gonna be. I'm about to have a whole like Tom Cruise moment. Like... <laughs> okay. Keshler. So you can actually put this in your bathroom. You can put it over your vanity. You can put it like this and do a mirror and then do a third one. You know, one mirror, two mirror, that one. I really love it. I mean, I would have done it in my bathroom, but I decided to go ahead and put this on my bookcase. I know you guys are always scared when I climb. <laughs> I saw this thing on Instagram that was like, don't worry about me, I'm short. I'm used to risking my life with everything I do on a normal basis, and I'm like, pretty much. So this is where this is gonna go. <gasps> you guys, it's a vibe. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really annoying with you about something but like I'm really happy about the light. I want to show you guys really quickly so this is the bowl that's on the bookcase and then this is the finish of the hardware on the light and see I really love this um, I don't like it for it to be too shiny to where it's kind of going against everything else this right here for me is just everything I feel like even you know five years from now we'll just have a really really nice look so um, when it comes to even the, the light, which I think makes a huge difference in the space, um, it's important to get something that's going to complement the space overall. So I love this. All right, I have one more thing to share with you guys really quickly. All right, and then I'm gonna start cleaning. Okay, you guys, really quickly, let me show you this because I just got these done. And when I say just got these done, I have called Joseph. Joseph has become my undesignated handyman, okay? I so appreciate him. And no, he's not working for free. <laughs> but I want to show you guys really quickly. Because right here, underneath the bar stools, I have these feet, which I took the manufacturer feet off and I did this. I also did this to my dining table. I'm gonna show you the feet and I'm gonna link them down below really quickly, okay? If you haven't considered this, you should consider it. Why? Case in point. No scratches on the floor, nothing whatsoever, and it takes you literally 10 minutes to do this and it's under, it's under $10. I'm gonna do it again. Hopefully I'll knock my camera down. If you think about how the kids are sitting down at the bar, constantly moving, and if you feel any better, I'll sit on this thing so you can see. Listen, <laughs> I'm definitely here to make things a little bit easier for you guys. So these are just certain things to consider. And y'all know how sensitive but I am on my floors, right? Y'all know how sensitive I am about my floors, okay? These are A1. Um, I do have them on um, a good bit of my furniture that moves. So, the accent chair in my um, bedroom, my bachelor chest, they don't have this one, 
what I did is I purchased the round, huge, circular felt, which I'll show you guys, and I put them underneath the bachelor chest. So when I move it, it can slide. I even have it under my day bed. It's unnecessary for the day bed just because it's on the rug. Um, what else? I have it on my dining chairs. I have it on this. Okay, so let me show you guys. I'm going to leave this in the description box down below. This is definitely something to consider when you are purchasing furniture. I'm gonna be honest, I don't 100% like how it looks because it does, you can see a little bit of the plastic on there, but you know what? I would rather deal with that than deal with my floors being scratched up. So all you have to do is just take the little small piece Place it on the bottom of your furniture like so, okay? Place it, then you take a hammer and you pop, 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 and it's in there and you are good to go. When you're dealing with much bigger piece of furniture, again, you have these. So these right here are the ones that are on, ugh, I think there's a bigger one. I wanna say that this packet here at Home Depot is like $12. It's like $12, you know? And I 100% feel like it's worth the price. Like I said, I was able to go ahead and get this. I believe they also sell a separate packet for like $5 or something like that. That has like three sets of four, if I'm not mistaken. So I keep these in the house. I keep these in the house. I have this one and then I have a second one. Like I said, I'm all about protecting my floors. So when people come in, they're like, oh my gosh, how are you able to not have your, your house look crazy or whatever, whatever. I just do my best to take precautionary measures as much as possible. It's annoying. It's nerve wracking. I don't want to do it, but if I don't do it, who going to do it, right? <laughs> so um, that's that. Kids will, will mess up some stuff. They will. I'm not saying that they won't. They definitely will. But I'm also going to say that if you take the extra measures, to um you know protect your stuff you're gonna have it all right you guys you guys this is the light fixture from um Keschler. that's the secondary light here joseph is about to install them they are so gorgeous i love the finish it is beautiful absolutely beautiful all right you guys here is the new light fixture it looks so good. I absolutely love it. Again, I'll be linking it down below if you guys are interested. It is from Keschler. Keep in mind that this is actually the bathroom vanity light, like I said prior. So you can actually have it um, turned the other way if you want it. So you can do vertical or horizontal, um, preferably whatever you wish. It looks really, really good. I love the finish. And like I said, it complements the bookcase overall. So I'm gonna kind of pan down a little bit so you can see it. The light is currently at its harshest currently. But um, I wanted to show you the light. And then the other side, look at that. Oh my gosh. I love it, I love it, I love it. What I'm gonna end up doing is getting one of the Alexa plugs. I previously said that I have a plug in this lower cabinet here. So what Joseph did is he purchased a plug that um, has a switch right here, okay? And he just wired it to the back. So you see the light cuts on. So this is the switch. So the light cuts on, let me just show you guys. It does cut on, all right? And then he basically did a hole. So the only thing that's left is he's gonna take this cord here and staple it to the back here. Okay, leaving this free. So this is another option. Um, if you guys remember, again, this here, I did the soffit, it was open space. So Joseph did the soffit, added the crown molding, which um, Noah ended up doing. When I was doing my coffee table, which a lot of you guys said it's a lot, it's not. I'm gonna get on the ladder so you can see an overhead view. But um, when I was in my coffee book, um, situating it and everything. I told you that the Vogue book didn't really have a lot of people of color. So I ended up going into Home Goods last week and I ended up finding this one here which was Vogue on location. And it just so happened, let me flip through the pages. 
This particular Vogue book houses a lot. A lot of people of color throughout several of these pages. So I'm gonna change that one book that I have to this one here just because I was like, thank you, Jesus. Cause I needed this in my life, okay? There's, I think about 20 pages. It's still not a whole lot, you know, but I'm happy that I was able to find this. So if you're in, I'm gonna leave this link down below if I can find it. It was $39.99 at Home Goods. So I found this one. And then I also purchased this one. I just love the creamy look overall. Um, I think I'm gonna put this one in my bedroom. So this is me standing over my coffee table. And I think what happened is me being at this angle here showing you guys, it seemed like a lot, but honestly, the table is about 50 by 50 and for it to be as wide and as big as it is, this really is not a lot. There's literally just four that I just did in these two little small boxes. So it's not a lot, like I said, when you're looking overhead, you get to see a better perspective. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clean. There's a lot of um, dust from Joseph drilling over here. I am going to get window treatments. Unfortunately, the budget blind company that I was working with here in Savannah, they closed. So now I'm working with a different office. Like I said, the process all over again. And then there was a lot of delays also. So not all my products came in, but overall I have to say, I am really excited and happy about how things are going.